Hi guys, Creative Lori here. Um, I wanted to show you guys some things to buy after Christmas that would save you money. So I have like a little list here. If I, I don't think I think my face is getting cut off on this too. I apologize if you're new to my channel. Um, <laughs> I've had I'm new to YouTube, so I am trying to work with what I have, like my camera, and um, I do this on my own. So I think what I'm going to start having to do is sit down in my office and then show you guys the hauls and everything else that I do. Um, I'm a home stager um, and prior to being a home stager I've been one for over gosh almost 15 years I think it's been now um, and I have but prior to that this life <laughs> I have um, had a different career in the construction as like a project uh, manager and then um, prior to that I worked in accounting um, as far as like I was an auditor so I did internal auditing and external auditing um, and with like American Express and all of that so um, I have kind of a financial background really and so um, I think that's why I have learned in my own business to become frugal and careful with my money leading up to after Christmas because as a home stager we can all go crazy and buy just a ton of things because it's getting close to inventory people want to sell their items so um, yeah we can get a little crazy but for Christmas for normal people <laughs> um, the top things I think are kind of imperative to buy to save you money for next year because I think it's ridiculous what the prices are for like wrapping paper um, during the holiday season, gift tags and tissue. It's ridiculous. So me personally, I don't buy anything during the Christmas season um, like that. I wait till after Christmas and specifically um, I, I did the, the statistics on it and you can do the research yourself too. You can go online. It's better to buy after Christmas stuff in January because they're gearing up for their inventory they want to unload this stuff and get rid of it so they are selling it at like usually 90% off so that's what I do I wait I wait till everyone else buys what they want whatever's left over cool I'll see if I like anything if I don't then I don't buy anything I usually always have a little something so um, now, there's something you really wanted, though, for after Christmas. Go get it. I mean, I totally get that. But as far as, like, your basics and um, what you can get to save money for next year, this is what you should get. First and foremost, of course, wrapping paper. Um, oops. I've only bought one thing last year, and that was one roll of wrapping paper. And I didn't even end up using this one. It was a quarter. It's beautiful. It's natural and it has like little gold stars and country farmhouse farmhouse ish looking trees. Um, I love this. It was only a quarter at the 99 cent store. But you guys are going to, I think it's best to buy maybe three or four rolls just to be on the safe side. Um, I hope I'm getting this in the seat for the shot. Um, wait till it goes more than 50% off. I just think even $2.50 for a roll of wrapping paper is ridiculous. Wait till it gets to be like a dollar, 75 cents, 50 cents. Um, I think I bought this about six years ago and I'm still using it and it was a huge roll. Um, and I think I got this for like 54 cents, something, you know, odd price like that. Um, I usually get craft paper at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, so that's no savings there, but um, I use that a lot for year round. So get your wrapping paper and don't go crazy. Set yourself a budget. Give yourself $20 and then you can get everything. That way next year you're not spending, you know, $40, $60. And I'm talking, we're going to include everything, decor, candles, you name it. So. Set yourself a budget, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, I might go this year and I'm only going to spend at the most $5 because I already have most everything. So gift wrap is number one. Um, number two is tissue because we all need tissue to put in bags or to wrap up our 
homemade goodies that we make for our neighbors. Um, I wrap up all my goodies in like parchment paper in little packages, kind of like Little House on the Prairie or the Waltons would have done. And then I might wrap it with some decorative tissue. Um, I think I got these packages for 10 cents. So I wait until they're like 90% off, 80 to 90% off. I, I'm also happy with buying maybe four or five packages because I can use the red for Valentine's or birthdays, the green for St. Patty's or birthdays. Um, I no longer buy the printed tissue because, I mean, I got this for after Christmas, but it, it could be used for birthdays and that's why I bought it, um, like for my nephew or whatever, in which his birthday's the day after Christmas. so. I will be using this. I haven't given his gift yet, so I'll be using that for him. But once again, I think this was like 10 or 15 cents. So stock up on that. And the beauty of all of this stuff is it lays really flat and you can store it easily. You know, same with your wrapping paper. That's why I say don't go crazy and get 10 rolls. Get like three or four and be done with it. Um, I mean, depending on how much you go through each season, we, my family has really pared it down. So I probably only go through maybe a full roll to two rolls total. Oh, I'm gonna say two rolls. Cause this year I, I had some free wrapping paper, which I'll talk about later. Um, the next thing you're gonna wanna get are bags. So I prefer the larger bags if you can get them. Um, get maybe three or so for, you know, for like each, family that you're like your dad or your mom and you're going to put like their big stuff in here like their their robes these are perfect for that um, or if you prefer boxes get boxes but I just find bags to be more um, kind of user friendly and then that way they can take them with them and it's easier to carry away but if you want to get boxes get boxes instead um, and these, I mean, I've had this one forever. We kind of just go back and forth in our family and just give it back to each other. <laughs> but um, like this little small bag, these are cute. You know, I would say don't spend more than 10 cents per, per bag. So this is a good size to put lots of things into. Um, 10 cents or if they come in a pack of two, maybe 50 cents at the most. Anything more than that is just like a little too much, I think. Um, gift tags. Gift tags, I do go through a lot because I put a gift tag on everything. Um, I got these a few years ago and I love them. They came 18 to a package. I don't know if you can actually see. They're kind of, um, let me come around and I'll show you. So they're, um, let's see. They have like a little bit of styrofoam in the middle of each, so they're kind of puffed up. And I love that one, the plaid. So these are like for, I would put on their main gift. They're prettier and they're more rustic. I love them. I think I got these for 20 cents and I've only used two so far because I've had so many tags for so long. The other tags that I bought, I bought four packages of, packages of these about four years ago, no five years ago, I think. And they came like a hundred to a package. And so I still have this amount left. And I think I have one more package left too. But the only bad thing about the sticky kind is I found that they didn't stick as well after all these years. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, they're cute for the kids, you know, and coworkers, but I kind of prefer now the, the tags that are like round or, you know, something, like this or the ones that have like a little string hanging off of there and i wouldn't pay more than like a quarter or 30 cents for that get a couple of those now i bought all my gift tags like four to six years ago and majority of my wrapping paper too except for the one roll that i bought last year all right so let me get back over here um so we got gift tags and then the last item would be food and I'm talking about like, um, let me show you the type of food. Uh, let's see, let me, let me pause this for a second and I'll set it up and show you. 
All right, so here it is, um, food. That's like a main one because you can eat the food well into, you know, into January. Um, all of the candies have dates that are like way past that. Um, I like to buy things that are specifically not decorated with Christmas, you know, little decor on there. Like this does not have, let's see if you could see it. It doesn't have any um, <clears throat> snowflakes or anything on it. So if I were to go, I haven't been shopping yet, but I would totally buy this. First of all, I support Hershey's because they don't test on animals. <clears throat> but I would buy this for like Valentine's Day and give one to like my sister, my nephew, you know, friends, whatever. If they have like five of them, I would get all five and maybe spend like, I don't know, these can be as cheap as a dollar sometimes or less. And they have hazelnut. So that's like perfect. It's not just chocolate. So that's a great time. Not only that, but you can get coffee. Um, I got eggnog coffee beans last year. That was so cheap. Or you can get like just like the regular coffee that has, um, you know, their specialty coffees during Christmas time. Gosh, that's the time to buy it, guys. Um, and just a word of or a tip, I should say, for coffee, do not store it in your freezer or fridge because then condensation builds every time you take it out um, and um, it basically stales, makes your coffee stale. So just keep it in an airtight container. Okay, next thing, stuff like this. I mean, this Moose Munch popcorn, which is actually really good. Um, I got this from my sister, but you know, like Ross carries these things. Um, she left the price on actually. So she got it for $5.99. So it'd be like $3 now or even less, you know, um, I haven't checked their prices because I haven't gone shopping, but that's perfect for your New Year's Eve party or get together or for your family. Um, and these are awesome too. These little Godiva and Lint um, truffles, because if you do have like people over, these are really like non-specific Christmassy, but they're winter colored and this is gold and these are silver and there's two different flavors. Um, she got them for $2.99. So it'd be like $1.50 if they were only half off, but I would wait longer and wait till they're like 75% off. Yeah, that was $2.99 also. So um, these are perfect for your New Year's little get together or for your family when you celebrate. So I would do that. And that's like the top five things. Oh, and if you find like, you know, other candies, like I said, these go well in, they're not going to go bad. I think the expiration date on this one is, um, let's see. Oh yeah. So best by seven, 2009 or 2018. Excuse me. So <laughs> we've got time to eat that. <laughs> um, and I, I don't think on the packaging it has any, it just has snow on it. So you could take it out of this package and, you know, put them in a dish or whatever. But those are the top five things. Gift wrap, tissue paper, bags, gift tags, and food. And that includes like, you know, whatever you might want to get, candy canes, whatever. I think last year um, I could have bought candy canes for 10 cents, like a whole box. And I just didn't need them. I didn't, I was done with candy canes at that point. But you you get what I'm saying. They do this at the 99 cent store, Dollar Tree. Um, I feel like the 99 cent store has better deals after Christmas, especially if you like wait a little bit until towards the end of December and the first week of January, I mean, it's like 90% off or you'll get 10 things for a dollar. And um, I mean, that's a deal guys. Okay, so those are the first, those are the top five things. The next things I would suggest getting, if you have room and, um, well, not only that, if you have room and if you're kind of starting out like on your own, um, your new family or a couple and you have no outdoor decorations, this is a time to get it. But don't go crazy. Don't get a bunch of stuff. I started out by getting one outdoor decoration. That's all I bought was one thing. So I bought, I think my very first thing were, um, oh, what was it? Uh, I think it was those, you know, those spiral trees that have like the strings that attach them and they have little lights and um, they were so cute on my patio that came in a pack of three and then I bought some Christmas lights. So 
So those things are great to buy after Christmas. Like they usually go 75% off right away because they're bigger items and the store wants to get rid of them. So outdoor lighting and decor, like, you know, those inflatable things. I don't really care for those, but um, a lot of people love them. A lot of people in my neighborhood have them. And that's the time to buy it because they're very expensive during the holiday season. So these are the next top five things that you could buy um, if you have the space for them and if you have the money for them. Okay, so outdoor de decoration, um, decor, I should say. And then uh, the next thing would be tableware. This is a perfect time to buy a box of you know, a set of dishes for your Christmas. I don't know if you guys seen my um, table scape. I'll link it in this video below, but let me go get the box and I'll show you. Okay, by the way, um, if I keep sniffling, I apologize. I have a year round allergies and for some reason today it's worse, but <sighs> okay. And I can't breathe through my nose. So I'm running out of breath, just like talking. <laughs> It's so silly. Anyway, here are the dishes that I bought. I think I think I got these 15 to 20 years ago. It's just a box of simple white plates, place setting of a plate, salad bowl, soup dish, dessert plate, coffee cu um, cup with the saucer. And I want to say I spent 15 to 20 dollars for these, but um, you can get more festive ones. I just find that the plain white ones these have a silver edging. It's classic and basically they just don't go out of style because you're not picking up on all the new trends and having to buy new stuff every single year. So I just stick to the classic um, white and I can use it for all my holidays. So um, this is a great time to pick up a set of tableware um, just to kind of decorate, you know, for your holiday season. The next thing would be um, something like, um, like a tree skirt. Sorry, I couldn't read my own writing. <laughs> a tree skirt. If you're just starting out or you're switching your whole decor, um, like farmhouse is huge. I kind of have been decorating rustic for quite a few years. So I haven't gotten a tree skirt and I didn't put up a tree anyways this year because of my cats. But in the years past, I used burlap and I just swaddled the, um, you know, the base with the burlap, but I have had tree skirts in the past and they are very expensive. And there are some that I have bought for, um, the model homes that I've done like at Pottery Barn. Um, actually it's been for the sales office. So I had to go to Pottery Barn and I bought like this faux fur one and it was gorgeous at Pottery Barn, but oh my gosh, it was so expensive. And I never really regain my money out of things like that. So as, as a home stager. So, and even for your own, you know, um, decor, I feel like you guys can wait until like one more year to buy things that are, you know, on sale and use it for the next year. Um, I mean, it's ridiculous what we can all spend, but if you can wait, just do it. So a tree skirt would be awesome because they are kind of pricey. Um, the next thing would be stockings. I use stockings all the time for coworkers, clients, um, you know, you name it. And I try to get the plainer, the better. So, um, I mean, I guess the best thing would be if you can make your own, but I can't sew. So <laughs> this one, it was from the Dollar Tree. And this is something that I, you know, give to my, um, I no longer buy my nephew new ones every year. I just recycle them back and forth. He get, you know, they give them back to me and, um, we just reuse the same one over and over again. Now, this one I think cost me 50 cents from the Dollar Tree because I wanted a little gingerbread one. I had done like all gingerbread items for, for him a couple of years and it was so cute. So stockings are great, but this is a time to get the monogrammed ones that are expensive, the high end ones that you really wanted and you just could not afford and you waited and, like a good little person <laughs> And now's the time to get it. So for next year, you're totally prepped and you have what you want. Um, and, you know, 
I always say stick to the simpler things because if you're always going to buy the newest trend, you're always going to be spending money. You're always going to be buying more stuff and you're going to have so much, you know, in five years that you're going to get so frustrated and you're just going to end up donating everything because you just have too much. You can't even go through it all. You can't use it all. So try to reuse what you have. And by doing that, it's the best to buy you know, more classic, simple pieces so that they can last throughout the years. And that's what I've done for myself. Um, and I appreciate doing that too, because then I know I always have this, I always have that. We use them every single year. They look beautiful. I buy just a couple little trendy pieces here and there, and then it kind of sets the tone for the new trend of the year, or, you know, every couple of years. I don't go crazy. And you would think I would being a decorator, interior decorator, home stager, but I don't. Um, it's just, it, get, it can get to be too much. So, <laughs> all right. So last thing, and I think this is super important because I live in California and it's really not that cold here. It's like 64 degrees right now. It's beautiful and sunny, but it gets chilly, I think at night. Um, it's been like 40, five to 34 depending but um like last night was really nice so i still get really cold and it's still a good idea to buy winter gear now if you live in an area that like has snow and that kind of thing then it's a good idea to buy your snow boots your you know your rain rain gear um rain boots uh, winter gloves, all of that thing, that type of thing for the next year. And if you have kids, you just buy like maybe one, one size bigger. I think that's how it works. Or maybe two, depending on how fast they grow. <laughs> um, but what I buy every year it are like fleece, you know, pajamas, um, scarves. Like I got this one from Old Navy for, I think, um, I bought one actually at Goodwill that was just like this. It's a lighter gray. But this one I bought, it was after, you know, Christmas special. Um, and I got it for, I want to say like a dollar, dollar fifty. And it's really nice, you know, cable knit. And so I got those. I buy like my fleece pajamas, um, my fleece zip up, you know, like not hoodies, but just zip up fleece um, jackets and socks fleece socks like crazy i always get cold i just buy these like maybe five or six or i get them for christmas and they last me the rest of this winter and then through the next um christmas season and sometimes even longer two years but um sometimes i want something more or um i wear them so much that you know they they're done like i need a new ones so that is a perfect time to get new winter clothing is after Christmas because that's the best time. Sweaters, jackets, fleece um, zip ups, your snow gear, your ski gear, your rain gear, all of that for your kids, everything. Best time to get it. If you can then store them in those little um, pouches that take the air out, I can't remember what they're called right now. If you remember, just comment below. <laughs> But just as a recap, guys, I just want to go over everything because all of this will save you money. Um, and I want people to save money. And I feel like at Christmas time, we're so gluttonous and we really don't need to be. I feel like you can just get what you need to get and minimally and kind of get by with what you already have rather than buying a bunch of stuff. So the first, the top five things, like I said, um, in the very beginning were tissue or wrapping paper, tissue paper, bags, larger bags, um, and food items and your gift tags. So any kind of a gift tag. Now it's buried. I can't reach it. Um, and I'm going to add something to that top five um, list because, and I'm going to put it with gift tags because I feel like Sometimes you can buy enough one season of gift tags and maybe the next season you buy Christmas cards. Like I have so many Christmas cards, I'm still going through them. Like I haven't had to buy them in like six years. 
In fact, I sent some to a fellow YouTuber, um, and it was from this box. I got um, a Dr. Seuss. Can you see it? For, I think it was 75% um, off, so a uh, dollar, basically. Um, so I had, I still have these. I got the Peanuts Gang box. I have like a nativity set. So that's going to be in my top five. If you don't get gift tags and get cards, um, because it'll last you a pretty good amount of time, just depending on how many cards you send out. The next top five, if you have the room, um, for it, and if you have the money for it. So that would be some outdoor, um, decor. Um, and I would say outdoor indoor decor. So that includes, you know, lights, a big, you know, uh, I don't know, inflatable decoration or something to go on the outside. Um, candles for your inside, maybe some ornaments. That's a good time to buy them too. So that, that's what I mean by decor. And I know I originally said outdoor decor, but I'm going to extend that to outdoor indoor decor. So um, I'm not even saying wreaths. Wreaths and trees I would not buy just yet, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, next thing would be the tableware, um, tree skirts, stockings, and your winter gear to wear. Now, when I say trees and wreaths, don't buy now. You could, you very well could. If you have a little more extra money and you do have the space, a lot of people don't, then skip it and maybe look around springtime or winter or uh, summertime and get a tree from your goodwill. Most of the time, I see them all the time in the box, sometimes still closed. They never opened them and they're pre-lit and they're nice. Like I have gotten a couple there myself that I've, I've had to use like at wineries when I decorate um, wineries. So just hold off on that because that is a big item to store. I, I feel like that you're not going to use for a full year. And if you can get it like six months later for super cheap, like 10, $15 at Goodwill, that's the way to go. So Guys, I hope this has helped you. Um, I just have so much stuff that, you know, I, oops, excuse me, that I have bought throughout the years that I just don't need any more stuff that I don't buy every year. So I kind of alternate and buy certain things every other year or, um, you know, maybe every four to six years because I have so much of it. So I'm going to end this video. Please like and subscribe. I know this is kind of a longer video, but um, like and subscribe. And if you leave a comment, I'd love to hear what you buy normally. And um, I'm going to now do another video of what I buy. And it is a lot less than this. And I'll tell you why. But um, so I'm going to do two more videos today. So I'm like amped because I haven't done videos in a few days because of the holiday. So I hope you all had a really Merry Christmas with your families and friends and animals and just remember, it's not about the gifts. It's about helping one another out. Um, homeless people, animals, whatever you can do safely. And just be a good person in giving. So um, keep that in mind. These gifts and these items are just not important. But if you do celebrate Christmas and you want to save money, that's why I posted this video or making this video. So enjoy the rest of the season and I will see you later. Bye.